Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Fortnite video for you. We have some more Fortnite toys. Uh, I know I've, I've said I have these uh, for a while and I haven't gotten a chance to review them until now, but here they are. This is Series 1, the first wave of Fortnite toys uh, from Jazzwares. And I'm excited about it. We actually have Series 2 already, and I have those figures, so that review will be coming up soon also. But I wanted to get these done, um, and these are really cool. I enjoy the Fortnite toys, and so they... All of these figures come with a building material, um, one actual character, and then also a harvesting tool. Um, the building materials, I've said in previous videos, I hate them. I think they... It's it's really clunky and frustrating and just annoying to be able to, to build stuff. But they serve as a nice little display stand, so I guess that part is kind of cool. Um, the figures and harvesting tools so far have been really cool as well. Um, but we also have one character in particular here that comes with um, uh, another uh, item as well, which is one of the... Um, uh, umbrellas in the game that you can glide with so um, that's kind of cool as well to have have that so here they are let's take a quick look at the packaging then so um, all of the figures come in this sort of standard size right here Th there are different size classes of figures by the way I'm reviewing these styles I'm not going for the bigger ones um, I figured these are the ones that are getting the 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 biggest variety of characters that are, at least have a decent amount of articulation there are smaller ones too but I'm not worrying about those. Um, looks pretty cool, definitely excited about it, but here's a bandolier right here. Uh, and all of these say solo mode, because it's like a solo figure, because they have the squad squad mode pack with the four figures, so it's kind of neat, you know, uh, their little naming scheme there. But there you go, no shirt, no surrender. That's the tagline there for bandolier. Um, and it shows you some of the other figures available in the set. Then we have technique right here. Very interesting. I started with Fortnite around season three or four, so um, and I didn't start paying attention to some of the skins until later. So some of these skins don't seem familiar to me. I don't recognize some of them, but many many of you probably do if you've you know been around even longer with the game. Um, but definitely looks pretty cool. I do like some of the designs. So pretty cool. Drift is one I do recognize. I have the Drift skin from the. Uh, this was from one of the battle passes. Um, I don't think it's fully leveled up, the one that I have, but, uh, but it's still a pretty cool design. Um, and yeah, that, I like the nice gold as well. I'm excited to get this figure open and take a look. Um, I also like the, uh, the coloring that they did. I assume, I haven't spot checked it myself, but I assume that the color of the packaging is the same rarity as the characters in the game. Am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um... But, you know, are those legendary skins? Maybe? I, I don't know, you know? But there's purple, so, you know, you guys can let me know if that's true or not. But these figures, by the way, are available at most retailers, your Target. Uh, many of these I found at GameStop. That seems to be the uh, best place that has the most variety, at least in that I have seen. But Target also has some as well. Um, here's Raptor. So there you go. Pretty cool. I like the... Uh, um, the harvesting tool right there. Okay. We have carbide right here. Uh, I do like this design in nice metallic blue. I'm excited about that. Blue is my favorite color. So definitely pretty cool looking uh, figure there. And there you have the back of the box as well, showing you carbide. Uh, and then as I was saying, there's like this slightly bigger set. Oh, it actually also comes with a weapon and a back bling. So it's got an, uh, a bigger size. Um, I don't remember the price on this one. There's no tag. I must have gotten this from Target because GameStop puts their stickers on it with the price. Um, but you get some of the extra stuff included, which is which is kind of cool to have. Uh, so you really get a full set for this character, including a legendary weapon. So that's kind of neat. But uh, there you go right there. Omega. Pretty cool looking skin. So without further ado, let's get these open and take a look. All right, here they are out of the packaging. Uh, and these figures look pretty cool overall. I, I definitely think they're... 
they're they're pretty neat and especially like this that's what i was saying about, about the building pieces they serve as nice display stands so if you want to have i mean the figures actually stand up on their own pretty well but if you want to have them on display um these are actually kind of nice too just to have an extra bit of support for the figures um using the building materials as building materials it's frustrating but using them as display stands great all the figures have uh holes on both of their feet so you can decide which way you know you want to pose them or or however but uh yeah they're all they're all pretty neat so let's jump right in and let's just since this guy's right here let's let's go for him so um this is bandolier and he has the um and I, I can't remember all the names so i'm looking at my reference guide just to keep track of it all this is the chomp jr um harvesting tool now i have the chomp jr tool in the game but i don't remember if i have bandolier or not if i do then i only got him for like i i, I wouldn't have bought this skin but i I do have the harvesting tool, so if it, it came together, then I guess I have the skin, but I know I have the tool, because I thought it was really cool, um, just the way that it animates and stuff is pretty funny, but anyways, so pretty cool though, um, I do like, I, I always like the, the wacky stuff, you know, that are like the super like sleek, cool, techy looking things, um, but this is, it's, it, it makes a fun animation in the game. Uh, and a fun sound, so I enjoy that harvesting tool. Uh, but here is the skin right here. And this figure's pretty neat. Most of the articulation on all these guys is going to be very similar, so I'll show you the articulation on him, and then I'm only going to focus on the differences for the remaining characters. Uh, but before I do that, let's just take a, an up-close look at the detail here. Um, so I really do think they capture the essence of a lot of the characters pretty well, um, nice bits of detail here. You have sort of this, this piece on his arm right there. The design on the, on the pants as well. And it continues all the way around back as well. So, yeah, definitely a pretty cool design. So, in terms of articulation then, um, so by the way, this piece right here does sort of just move around a little but it's it's you know it, it won't come off so it stays pretty pretty solid but the head will rotate and also moves up and down uh the arms rotate and uh, move up as well then you have rotation here with the arm and then you have an elbow joint oftentimes these figures seem to bend inwards less than they do outwards which is a little odd but i suppose you could reverse it and just do it that way even if it is slightly off then but um i guess that's that's possible at least um and then you have the hand which rotates as well and then also moves in and out okay then you have the upper body piece which rotates around but also allows for some a good range of motion the entire top half of the figure will rotate as well um kick forward uh back a little bit do the splits rotates right here double joint at the knee and then the feet move up and down and also swivel so very standard articulation for all of these figures um and it's pretty good it you know allows for a good range of motion uh and you know for a nice display which is which is pretty cool so there's Bandolier. So if you're a fan of this design, I think he's definitely worth uh, checking out. I like the the harvesting tool. So um, then again, some of the charm of the tool is the actual animation in the game. So I don't know if that necessarily translates to this toy, but um, still pretty neat overall. Pretty solid figure. So all right. So there you go. There he is. All right. Let's move on to the next one right here. And so this is Carbide, and the harvesting tool that he has is the Positron. So, let's take a look at the harvesting tool. Very simple but sleek design. So there you go. And the figure itself, it's got that sort of robotic mech suit kind of a thing, but more of a sleek look, you know? Definitely looks pretty cool. 
blue is my favorite color, and I do love this this metallic blue that they used. I think it actually looks really nice. Yeah, pretty cool design overall. So, there you go. Uh, in terms of articulation, again, I'm not going to go over all of it again, but it's very much the same as... Uh, as the other figure, the only difference being this chest armor piece kind of inhibits the movement of the arms a little bit uh, in that they can move up about horizontally, but they're not going to move up any more than that. Um, otherwise, you're, you're going to get very similar range of motion. The other piece, I guess, is the elbow. Um, is not, it's not going to bend backwards as much, um, and also bending inwards is a little bit more restricted. Um, so... Anytime you have kind of the bulkier arm pieces, you're going to have that uh, issue with the figures. But otherwise, you know, same articulation all around. Um, and so it's pretty good. Definitely gives you some, some nice uh, flexibility with, with what you can do. Okay. So let's put this back. If I can. Some of these you got to be a little careful when putting in the weapons um, so that the thumb doesn't get crushed in there. So you kind of just have to slide it in just right so that it doesn't crush the thumb. Okay. Let's go over to the other side here and take a look at the next figure, which is Technique. So pretty cool design. And she has the Renegade Roller Harvesting Tool. Very interesting style, especially kind of this like little hook at the bottom, sort of. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, it's like it's like all tied together. So, um, but yeah, it's like a, a paint roller. And you can see the ink right on there. So cool design. Very unique. And here is technique. So we'll. Zoom in to get the full detail. Uh, the one thing I'll just say right off the bat is the hood is removable. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of similar to the Rex figure that I did before, where that part's removable. Um, is it removable in the game? Is that a, a, um, an option for the skin to do? I don't know. Um, if it is, then great, because then you have the option in the figure. But if not, then it's kind of weird. Um, but I guess then again, if you really want a good range of motion, um, that's one way to do it. If otherwise, if this was molded on, you really wouldn't be able to turn the head around that much. So I guess the 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 benefits outweigh the the negatives of this thing being a little loose, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely pretty cool uh, detail and paint. You can see right there on the hat, um, you have paint splashes right there. You have like the tattoo on the arm paint right there. So definitely pretty cool. Sorry, the camera keeps going out of focus because trying to get this thing up close. Little bits of paint there and on the shoes. So nice bits of detail. That, that's the thing that I like about these as, um, again, it kind of captures the essence of the characters, which is, which is pretty cool. So, okay. So there you have it. Again, in terms of articulation then, so this piece, by the way, does just sort of slide around. Um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be, you know, the same uh, type of articulation as, as any of these other figures, um, you know, that you're seeing. The difference being you have the hood. So if you really want to get some good range of, of movement, you might have to, you know, move the hood around a little. But otherwise, um, pretty standard uh, articulation. So there you go. All right, let's move on to the next one here. So we have Raptor. Okay, and Raptor has the Spectre harvesting tool. Now, this is another one that I know I have the Spectre harvesting tool. Do I have Raptor? I might have Raptor. I, I don't remember. Um, but I do have Spectre because it's, it's, it's one that like fits in with a decent amount of skins, I feel like. Um, if I don't have like a matching tool, then... Um, this one's kind of sleek and simple, but does look pretty cool. So uh, this is like a, a go-to default if I don't have um, another cool one to use. So there you have it. 
And here is Raptor. So let's zoom in on the figure. Um, you know, again, good bits of detail there. You can see the little zipper. Um, you have the, the logo right there on the jacket, the headset there. Little grenades in the back. Yeah, you know, simple design. There's not much to it, but um, definitely translated well to a figure. Uh, again, in terms of articulation, it's going to be very similar, except the head is going to be a little limited in rotation. You kind of have to uh, bend it upwards a little to rotate it around because of this, this outside jacket piece right here. Uh, and then with the arms, also, so some of these figures, when they first come out of the box, are going to be really tight. So, like, it almost seems like it doesn't move up, but it does. And you kind of have to just push it a little bit. So, it does move up um, a decent amount, almost all the way, if not all the way. Um, so, you do have, you know, good range of motion there with the arm. So, really, there's not much different with the articulation here. It's pretty much the standard, which is, which is great. So, all right. So there you have it. Let's just put them back on here. All right, let's go to Drift then right here. Um, this is probably, I think, I don't know. Is this my favorite design out of all these? I like Omega, although I don't know. I, I, I like Drift. I, th I, think, I think Drift is my favorite design out of this set, uh, just because of how unique it is, you know? It's a very interesting style. Um, and so the harvesting tool that he has is Rift Edge. And so in the game, this is supposed to be like, if you look at the image here, um, like a sort of like this pulsing pink color. So obviously that's not going to work as well with a toy, so, but they have kind of this um, different style pink. It's not, it's not quite a translucent pink, but it's like a darker solid color. And if you look closely, there's even little snippets of like a glittery uh, component to it, kind of, but not much. Um, so, you know, I guess it's kind of nice. Um, very simple. You have the gold chain at the bottom, but it's not a chain. It's just the solid piece that's all attached there. Uh, it would have been kind of cool to have this, you know, move around a little bit, whatever. Um, it's a basic harvesting tool. So, and then here's the figure itself. Uh, I think this guy looks really, really cool. So, zooming in up close, you can see the actual face mask right there. Uh, really nice gold that they used as well. So, it's not like a butterscotch, you know? Um, so I think they did a, a nice job with, with that even down to like on the shoes here. That looks slick. That's pretty cool. So again, really cool looking figures. Uh, you open it up as well, open up the jacket, you see some, some detail in there. Um, the jacket itself, technically, can it come off? You might be able to get it off. I'm not gonna mess with it, um, but technically it might be able to. And look at the back here, you can actually see there is a little bit of paint in here, so it could actually be meant uh, to potentially, you know, be moved around. That being said, if you take the jacket off, these jacket sleeves are a part of the arm, so it would look really weird to have jacket sleeves but no jacket. So it's really not meant to be taken off, but they did do little bits of paint on the back of the figure there, which you probably normally would never really see, so that is kind of interesting. Um, also, the uh, this hood is molded on, so this is does not come off, and same with the mask and stuff here. So this is not like in, in the actual game where you can level up the skin and have different variants of it. It's sort of just one solid figure of the, the final uh, form of Drift, uh, which is fine, and, and I think it looks pretty cool. So, um, you know, if they do let, and they may, I know they have a larger scale Drift figure, maybe that one offers more customization, I don't know, um, but uh, it's fine for what this is. Um, in terms of articulation then, the head um, does actually rotate all the way around. It's just, again, this whole hood part goes with it, um, but it can kind of get a little stuck, so you have to make sure it's good. There we go. Um, 
the arms, you know, do have a good range of motion and they do move up all the way. So it does look a little odd because it's this whole like uh, sleeve piece that's a part of it, but it, it does it, you know, it does the movement. Um, articulation everywhere else is the same. So it actually, despite having this little jacket thing, does not lose out on any articulation, except perhaps if you were trying to do like move the legs backwards and stuff. But even then, like, look, I'm trying to do the splits. The jacket's very bendable. And so you can still have a good range of motion there. So they actually did a really nice job at, at not um, having any like negative uh, aspects of this figure because of its design. You know, like our articulation was not hindered in, in any form. So yeah, pretty cool. I think that's uh, definitely a, a nice looking figure and, and worth worth picking up if you are interested in this character. So that leaves us with Omega. And this is like the, what do they call it? The early survival kit, I believe it was, because he actually comes with a couple of extra pieces um, in, in this set here. So one of which is we have this legendary weapon right here. And I'm gonna have to pull up my, uh, my handy dandy guide right here. It is indeed the legendary assault rifle. That's what I thought. Um, so here we go. Legendary assault rifle, as you can see. Pretty cool looking. So there you go. Um, and then the glider that he has is one of the, the umbrellas here. They haven't really done, this is the first, is this the first glider that I have? I can't remember if I got one in the other loot set that I did or not. Uh, if I did, it was probably an umbrella because we haven't really gotten any other types of gliders. I don't think so actually, because the checklist only has this. It says more gliders coming soon. So it'll be interesting to see what else they start to offer in the future. But this is the wet paint glider right here. Um, and this came in two pieces, this piece right here, and you just had to peg it right in. Um, but uh, you can see sort of what that looks like. And then on top, Got a little robot on there, and yeah, so interesting, interesting design. Um, I don't really use the umbrellas because I have so many other gliders that I think are, are really cool. But you know, if you like the umbrella gliders, and there you go, now you have one in the game or, or in the toys rather. Um, and so Omega here, this guy basically um, comes with, and do I have it on my? I don't have it on my checklist. Oh, no, I do. Onslaught. Yes, this is Onslaught. So here's the Onslaught harvesting tool. So I'll kind of zoom in and try and focus a little bit here. But the little hints of red are pretty cool. So, yeah, definitely, definitely looks pretty nice. Uh, and then real quick before I get into the figure itself, here's what he looks like with the glider. So if you wanted to have him on display using the glider, then, you know, you have that option as well. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Um, then, he also comes with a back bling as well. So, um, this this is kind of giving you a full set right here. So this is the precision, pr precision, uh, precision uh, back bling. It's all right, I don't know. I kind of, again, prefer sort of the more fun back blings or, or sometimes even no back bling at all. Uh, I think in the toys, they're a little awkward to be honest because they just they just sit there in the back and just look kind of bulky and weird, you know, and add this extra weight on the back here. Uh, so it is a little bit odd, um, but you have the option at least. So there you go, there's a, a back bling. And you can of course mix and match with other ones if you have them. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the figure itself, you know, looking at the detail up close, does look pretty cool. I, I like kind of this, this helmet design. Definitely very interesting. The only thing I would say is, um, and this is just on my figure in particular, like look, on this side it looks fine. Look at the paint. Now look on this side. The paint kind of bled out a little bit and just looks a little splotched. But, you know, you're going to have that on these figures of this size. So this one kind of looks slightly odd, but um, that's just... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do about that sort of thing. Just keep an eye out on the figures that you're buying and if you really care about that kind of stuff. Um, but overall, it looks, looks pretty interesting. I, I think this is one of those styles, 
Anything sort of mechanical robotic like this, I feel like is gonna look slightly better in the game than in toy form because in the toy, it just, it looks a little kind of basic because um, there's just a lot of like gray, you know what I mean? There's not much more to this design. Um, so, you know, there isn't too much they could have really done with that aside from make it a lot more silverish, but you know, again, if they're really trying to match the look of the, the skin in the game, there's not too much more they can do with it. So, while I think this is a really cool looking skin, I think this toy just isn't quite as cool just because it, you know, looks a little more plain, but there's not really too much you can do about that. Um, in terms of articulation, uh, again, it's going to be very much the same. Um, this piece right here, the arms were, were pretty tight when I first got it. Um, the arms do not move up all the way, so they are slightly hindered, just like the carbide one, um, because of this big chest armor piece right there. So it's going to stop the full range of motion from the top there. Um, but otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same. So you have a good range of, of motion on the figure, which is which is pretty cool. So. There you have it. Um, I think this, this set is pretty cool though, because again, you do get the weapon and the glider. So you kind of get like one of everything in a way, almost like a little, a uh, little package of, uh, of, uh, uh, cool stuff here. So definitely pretty neat. So we'll put this on its little display. And uh, there you have it. Here's the first series of figures. Um, granted, you know, we do have the squad mode pack. There was the the loot llama with all the accessories. So there's been other packages and things where you can get various figures. And, so, and those are all exclusive to those other sets. The Turbo Builder set, for example, had the Raven figure. Um, so if you are looking for specific characters, you might have to buy those other sets. But these characters are sold individually, so you can pick and choose the ones that you like. Um, I think they're all great. If, if you, well, I would go for whatever ones that you are a fan of. Um, so if there's certain characters you like, go for it. I think they're all pretty solid. Um, and uh, yeah, I definitely recommend them. So I have more Fortnite uh, toy reviews on the way, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.